Okay, so the very first lesson of today is comparing quadratic and linear rates. Okay, so we have rates here. In fact, we have two of them. One of them has to do with the speed of a horse. Okay, so this horse is running at one second. It's going one kilometer an hour at two seconds, four. At three seconds, nine. At four seconds, 16 kilometers an hour. Another rate of change we have is the height of a tree and its age. So at five years, it's 15, we'll say feet. Okay, I forgot to put, uh, this is in years, this is in feet. Okay. Uh, at 10 years, it's at 30 feet, 15 years, 45 feet, 20 years, 60, and 25 is 75. Okay. A couple things we need to go over before we actually solve whether these are quadratic or linear relations. First thing we need to make sure is whenever we're comparing this, we need to find out an independent and a dependent variable. Okay? So what we mean by that is normally what we do is, especially if we're going to graph something, we call the independent variable x. Okay, so x is independent. And our y is dependent. Why do we have to go through this? Yeah, to learn. We know what they are. Just so you know the process. Okay, so independent. Which, in terms of the horse, would be the independent variable? Speed. Okay. Would it be the speed or the time? Now, I want you to think of it like this. Dependent always relies on the independent. Okay? So we're going to try to say this out loud and see if it makes sense. Does the speed of the horse depend on how long it's been running? Yeah. yeah. Or... Does the time it's running depend on the speed? In other words, if he slows down, does time slow down? And does he Nay. speed up, does time speed up? Nay. No. In time, as time passes, is the horse going faster and faster? Yes. Yeah, it makes sense. It probably started at a standstill. It takes time for it to accelerate, and eventually hits the top speed. Okay? So in this case, our time is independent. And what you're going to find is, in almost all things, Time will be the independent variable. Because no matter what you do, you really don't affect time. Unless you go space here. Well, even then. Okay? So our speed is our in or sorry, our dependent variable. Okay? Same idea. Let's think about the tree. Does the age of the tree affect its height? Or does the height of the tree affect the age? In other words, if the tree grows stops growing, does its age stop? No. 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 If the tree is getting older, is it more likely that it's getting taller and eventually to a point? Yeah. 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 Right? Eventually it'll reach a point where it hits its max height. So in other words, the age, which refers to essentially time, is our independent, and our height is our dependent variable. Okay? Very important we're able to figure those two out. Because in the next step, in order to do the process, what we're going to be doing is something called first and second differences. Now, you've done first differences before, and I think you've done second also, but we're going to recap them. First differences is when we're going to find the difference, essentially, between the dependent variable. In order to do this, our independent variable, x, must be changing at a consistent rate. So, time. It is changing in all of our rates we have. How much is it changing by? One. Is it consistent? Is it always going up or down by one? Yes. Yes, it's always increasing by one. So because it's going up by one, up by one, up by one, this is OK. And we'll be able to use our first and second difference test. We'll check age. Is that changing by a regular or a normal pattern? How much? Five. By five, that's right. So it's increasing by five each time. So, because our independent variable is increasing by the same amount every time, we can use this test. If it had not been increasing by a pattern of either 1 or 5, we can't do the first and second difference test. Okay, very important that you recognize that before we start to do this. Now, I'm going to scroll down a little for some room, and then we're going to quickly go over first and, difference, first and second differences. Okay? I'm just going to rewrite the information we had quickly. 1, 2, 3, and 4 our x values and our y values, this is for the speed of the horse, we're 1, 4, 9, and 16. Okay? 
Now, first difference is, is when we take either the first value or the second and subtract by the other. So in other words, we're dealing with these two values to start. It doesn't matter which one I put on top or I subtract by, just as long as I keep that pattern the same. So in the first one, let's say I'm going to start with 1 and then subtract 4. So I have 1, subtract it, and you know what, I'll try to put it in between so it looks similar. This would be kind of in between. 1, subtract 4 gives us what? Negative 3. Negative 3. Okay? So recall I took the top number and I started with that. I then have to find the same thing with the next two numbers. Okay? But in order to keep the same pattern, which number do I subtract from the other? I have to do 4 first, and then subtract 9. What do we get? Negative 5. Good. And then we do the next two numbers. What do I start with? 9. 9, subtract 16, and we're going to get what? Okay. So, were the first differences the same? No, they were all different. And if first differences are the same, it would be linear. But because these aren't the same, we don't have a linear relation. We don't have a straight line is what it's telling us. If we were to graph this, this wouldn't be a straight line. Second difference is, is the same idea. The only one difference here is we take the answers from our first differences. So I work with my answers only. Okay? So I take those answers, and again, I can either do subtract the top from the bottom or the bottom from the top. I just have to keep the pattern the same. So let's start with negative 3, subtract negative 5. Anyone know what that's going to be? Positive 2. Positive 2. Good. Then we do the next two numbers. Okay? Negative 5, subtract negative 7. Anyone know what we're going to get? 2. Now, technically, we try to go with more than two answers, but I only wrote enough information for two. Are the second differences the same? Yes. yes. So because the second differences are the same, we have a quadratic equation. Okay. In other words, it's going to look like a parabola. So this is quadratic. And that means we're going to get a shape of something like that if we were to plot those points from above. Okay. So if we were to plot the points from here, this is quadratic. Okay. We're going to use the same idea with the other information we have. Okay. So we'll go down again. I'll quickly put the information up. Uh, age of the tree was 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 years, I think. And its height was 15, 30, 45, oh shoot, uh, 60, and 75. I know those aren't in line. Let's just put arrows between them. Okay? That's how they corresponded to each other. So there's our x and our y. Now remember, I should have brought this up earlier. These two x and y values, the independent and dependent, those are points on a graph. So we can plot this and essentially get an idea of what we have. So what's the first thing we're going to try? First differences. Okay. And just to show you that it doesn't technically matter, before we took the top number and subtracted by the bottom, we're going to do vice versa this time. I just have to keep the same pattern. So I'm going to take 30, that's the one from the bottom, and subtract the number that was on top, 15. What do we get? Good. Next two numbers we deal with are 45 and 30. So again, I'm going to take the number from the bottom and subtract the one on top, 15. Again, 60 subtract 45. And just for good measure, 75 subtract 60. What do we get for all of them? 15. Are the first differences all the same? So what type of relationship is this? Linear. Linear. This means this is a straight line if we were to go to draw it. Now, obviously, if I were to find second differences, what would I get as all the answers? Zero. Zero, right? Mm -hmm. You ever come across that? Look back. It means you have a linear relation, okay? For some reason, you didn't notice it, okay? So once we have first differences, there's no reason to do second. We already know this is going to be a linear relation, okay? So we know this one is linear. We figured out both of them by using first and second differences.